Do mining industries really bring about development? Do they generate sufficient employment to uplift the people from poverty? Do they practice responsible mining as they claim to be doing? Do they share in protecting the environment? These are the questions that we Negrensis continue to ask. Gold, copper, silver and molybdenum are found in the south of Negros. Big mining companies continue to hold mining rights over vast areas in the south of Negros. The Diocese of Cabancalan presented the results of a scoping study on the small-scale mining in southern Negros to a multi-sectoral group on April 23, 2018 in Bacolod City, Philippines. I would like to give you some uh, rationale behind the uh, project. Uh, so there is a Kabankalan. Actually, this is not only the, in the this concern sa dioceses ng kapasang Kabankalan at the same time sa iban pa mga dioceses. But uh, like, take kami initiative sa pag uh, patigayon sila to address the different issues and concerns nga ginatakol namon sa dioceses no in the office of uh, Commission on Social Action. Kadamo sa mga uh, concerns and issues nga gina ginadangop sa amon office sa uh, social action uh, regarding sa uh, mga problema nila sa aton nga mga tao sa lugar or sa mga katiling ba naton regarding sa issues sa small scale mining kag at the same time sa uh, issues sa quarry nabudlayan kami maghatag sang solusyon uh, sa mga tao nga nagapalapit sa, sa office kay wala man kami sang kapasidad sa opisina we are trained as organizers, but in terms of ginatawag to conduct sang paggather sang data regarding sa issues sang mining, sa small scale mining, kag sa quarry operations, na wala kami sina na expertise. But it's because nga daw kadako sang yung concern sa bilog namon nga diocese dito, especially dito sa Southern Negros. So naplano kami sang isa ka kastadi para sa sinagot nga masabat ang nagkalain ng mga concerns ang amon nga mga tao dito regarding sini sa pagtuon agot nga makagather kami sa sinag na akong authentic git kag masinag na akong nga chaktugin nga data nga sila lang na amon ma-present every time nga ining issues o concern magkato sa amon office kay nakita na amon sa kami ang nagabulig sa tao ka magkato sa lugar sa pag-investigate nabudlayan kami kay hindi ga ang gakadala kami sa balatsagon sang tao pero kami man hindi kami kabalo magdetermine kun ang ila nga reklamo insakto uh, fact finding team ini nga gina login organize naton ini to find sa ginatawag ma result makahimo sang isa ka matao nga result sang ginatawag nga magather naton nga mga facts no? so nag nag uh, partner kami sa especially sa mga some volunteers coming from uh, faculty and staff of the uh, Central Philippine uh, State University, especially the expertise to conduct the mapping and scoping in you know, affected areas. So we are thankful that may pila ka nagsabat sa sini uh, nga panawagan sini nga project. So nagstart kami sini uh, actually sa January nagplano na kag uh, by sa February ang motor nag-start kami sa orientation sa dito sa kanya patawag sa nagalain ng mga representatives coming from uh, different uh, NGOs nga uh, we have the same uh, uh, advocacies and uh, sa mga uh, mga POs kag affected areas mga representatives sa Katilingban ang amon nga uh, pinaka mayor nga uh, tinutuyo nga sa tapos nga makagather sila ng isa ka authentic nga data uh, ang amon gid nga handong ma-present ini sa LGU agud matagaan sa pagtamod ini nga mga concern kag issues sa aton mga tawo nga nasa company courtesy call sa mga LGUs kag sa mga different uh, government agencies nga concern sila man nagaako nga father tungod sa kakulang namon sang tawo hindi namon masabat gid a good address ina nga kinanganon sang nagakanda kami sa nagkalain-lain nga mga sinilat salamat ni father nga nagcreate kamo sing sining initiative a good makabulig sa amon so isa man nga nakita namon as part sining nga uh, study nga maka maka-create sang isa ka multi-stakeholders nga group 
agud nga magbuli especially sa pagpatuhaw sini ang may implement ining resulta kun ano man ini nga masabat ini nga makita naton nga mga concerns and issues at the same time ini nga pagkandak sang mapping kag uh, scoping sa dira Ma makita natin ang bilog na itsura sa Southern Negros. Let me just give you some very short rundown of what is the content of this research. So we, we, we this study is uh, getting its foundation on the Repub uh, Philippine Constitution in 1987, where it states that mining was acknowledged in the Philippine Agenda 21 and recognized in the World Summit on Sustainable Development Plan of Implementation given flesh through the Philippine Mining Act of 1995, its revised implementing rules and regulations. Just recently, Executive Order Number 273, the National Policy Agenda, Revitalizing Mining in the Philippines, advances the critical shift from pure regulation or pure regulatory compliance, but the shift right now is towards sustainable development where mining resource, mineral resources development is undertaken in a transparent and sustainable manner, guided, of course, by the laws, rules, regulations, industry guidelines, and corporate responsibility and accountability. Committed to the highest technical standards, management systems, and practices, and engaged in sustained process of consultation with local government, consultation with communities, business group, civil society, and other industry stakeholders. The very reason why you are invited today for that purpose. We will generate all the inputs from you, whatever comments that you will have. We will still incorporate this in the final terminal report. That is why you will be part of this presentation, and we will be very happy to accept whatever comments or suggestions or inputs that you're going to provide just for us to enrich the findings of this research. So we would consider this activity today as still part of the validation process. Historyahan ta ang Bulawan since 1980, dito ginag-boom ang itong ilang Dalbuton mo ang punuan ka ilamon, upot ang Bulawan. So that is the process of submitting gold rust up to quail excises, iba nga nabala pa na sila doon mga bata hindi kilala bulawan sa tuhanay. From the soils or gravel from stream bed, riparian areas or other surfaces by washing in the pan with water. So gold panning became major source of livelihood, especially to local communities. Example in Sitio Kayas of Sipalay City and Sitio Kapayasan of Hinubaan. Damo pa lang ang lugar, wala pa lang yung mingso. So, in the total of 21 sites, the biggest uh, percentage of uh, quarrying is in Cabancalan City, followed by uh, Hinubaan, Sipalay, and Kawayan. And this is the, the volume of uh, allowed to the permittees. And it has a total of 432,000. And um, the average is 20.71. Then as to the validity, as I mentioned earlier, so there was uh, a 10% that is already expired. So here are the, the issues and concerns by the communities during our field visit. Number one is damage of roads. Then second, poor dissemination of information in the conduct of public hearing, loss or decrease of fish population, noise and dust pollution, dangerous to school children because there are trucks that are um, um, passing by in, uh, in an elementary school. Then dangerous uh, persons attending in the public hearing are not actual affected residents. Uh, disturbance of land and other vegetation, including other ag agricultural crops. Neighboring GILG officers of the neighboring LGUs are here. So, gam na question lang kami, sir. Um, ang ginahambal mo nga uh, monitoring team from the barangay. Are the barangays uh, aware 
yun nga sila ang monitoring team and sino ang makapasitip sa ila uh, sa ila role na magmonitor the composition of uh, barangay monitoring committee executive order ni gold 12.023 nag issue nga ang composition the the chairman automatic chairman of the committee automatic di barangay captain the vice chairman is the kagawad on environment the members wala sang limit from council to barangay tanod and other stakeholders in the area i would rather would rather uh, venture on to, to, to prevention sang illegal to to make to have a, a program like minang bayan para ma prevent kasi atong naging illegal lang naman sila because they do not have yet permit but if they are willing to 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 uh, file for an application for an under my my program we will assist them the LGO is uh, a recommendatory only for the opening of the minana bayan however the declaration the official declaration is through PMRB the Negros Occidental has an active PMRB uh, members ever since sang pagdevolve na sang uh, mining related uh, activity from the MGB so kung magsilik kita bulawan mahal na so sino maka benepisyo sina sa sa atong ginapropose nga minahan ng bayan tingo ana mo nga hindi kami maka violate sa amon nga pag-operate kag ginatinguhan gyud namon nga ma-follow ang amon nga uh, gina-instruction sa amon nga ini pribilihiyo lamang nga ginhatag sa amon dapat namon nga halungan ang atong minang bayan uh, ang basic process ini is uh, uh, pwede may ara nga isa ka grupo nga magpetisyon magpetisyon sa aton nga provincial mining regulatory board for a declaration of a certain area or pwede man ang isa ka ang uh, PMRB mismo pwede siya maka maka move for the declaration so Dua ini saka kuan, dua saka starting point either the government through the PMRB or uh, any interested parties. So amon ang pilak importante nga aspeto sa minang bayan. Dapat economically feasible and viable. You have the market, high grade ang copper at gold. Yes, ano gibala ang plight sang miners, kag sang mga workers? You are suggesting to to study on the stories of the miners and workers. In mining. The study entitled Increasing Public Understanding of Natural Resource Governance by Promoting Transparency and Accountability in the Small-Scale Mining Sector in the Province of Negros Occidental is part of the advocacy on environment of the Diocese of Kabangkalan. Through this study, the Diocese answered the call of the Government of the Philippines Extractive Industry Transparency Initiative. The government has been implementing reforms since 2013 in the mining sector and shall continue to do so until 2021. The diocese will soon as possible initiate the call for a multi-sectoral consultation meeting where the proposal shall be presented for approval. An action plan shall be forged with the concerned stakeholders in small-scale mining and quarry operations in the south of Negros Occidental.